Hey, what's up, everybody? It's James Freeman out here in Quinlan, Texas at the Quinlan Police Department. We're out here with Otto, Otto Freeman, Otto the Watchdog. Um, so today I'm doing some uh, script flipping uh, where I go out and talk to the cops and treat the cops the way that cops talk to and treat other people. Um, I think that uh, some people misunderstand when I do these videos that I think that it's okay to talk to other human beings the way that I'm going to talk to them, uh, to treat them the way I'm going to treat them, to investigate them, to, you know, the things that I'm going to be doing, I don't think that they're right. I don't think that they're okay. And the point of these videos is to show you that if it's not okay for me to do, what makes it okay for, for them to do? So hopefully when you see me investigate these cops and it makes you cringe, Maybe the next time you see these cops doing a very, the exact same type of investigation, hopefully it will make you cringe then as well. Really intrusive questions. Where you come from? I don't want to tell you that. Mm-hmm. Well, where are you going to go? I don't want to tell you that either. They're both embarrassing. Here we got another Hunt County. We just inve investigated a Hunt County Sheriff's deputy a few minutes ago. Hey, what's up, man? You doing all right over here? Yeah. Okay. Just checking my computer. Doing what? Just checking my computer. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, we just, you know, I heard about some suspicious behavior over here, so we were just checking out the area. Okay. What's that? I said okay. All right. Um, so I heard there's been a lot of drug trafficking going on in the area. Hey, you, who are you with? Or what are you? What's that? Uh, I'm with the people. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's fine. Um. So you know anything about any of the drug trafficking going on in the area? I have no comment, man. Okay. You know, talk questions like that, you can just call the public relations office up the, hot, uh, the sheriff's office. Okay, so you're not... Uh, what's that? I don't have any comment. So you're not involved in any drug trafficking? I don't have any comment. So you're invoking the, your Fifth Amendment, is that Sorry. what you... Are you okay? You're being no, a little combative. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to ask some questions. No, I'm just referring you to the sheriff's office. Okay, you're just being a little combative. I'm no. just trying to ask some questions. You're not being very cooperative. Questions need to be directed to the sheriff's office. Okay, so I can't ask you questions? You can, but I want to direct you to the sheriff's office. Okay, so you're going to invoke your right to remain silent. Is that right? Do you, do you have anything illegal on you at the moment? Can I ask that? No. You can, I can't ask that? Do I have any? Okay. This, is, this conversation's over. You have a nice day. Are you... Can I have my dog walk around your car? Similarly, anyone who does not consent to be detained, questioned, or searched by officers of the law is automatically perceived by the state mercenaries as some sort of troublemaker who has something to hide. Again, the real reason such lack of cooperation annoys authoritarian officers is because it amounts to people treating them as mere humans instead of treating them as superior beings, which is what they imagine themselves to be. If, for example, someone was confronted by a stranger without a badge, who started interrogating the person in an obviously accusatory way. What's that? I don't have any comment. So you're not involved in any drug traffic? I don't have any comment. So you're invoking the, your Fifth Amendment, is that what you... And asked to be allowed to search that person's pockets, his car, and his home, not only would the person being accosted almost certainly refuse, but he would probably be outraged at the request. Do you have anything illegal on you at the moment? Can I ask that? No. You can, I can't ask that? Do I have any... Okay. This, this conversation's over. You have a nice day. Of course you can't rummage through my stuff. Who do you think you are? But when strangers with badges make such requests, they are the ones offended when the targets of their intrusive, unjustified harassments, accusations and searches object and refuse to cooperate. Are you okay? You're being a little combative. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to ask some questions. No, I'm just referring you to the sheriff's office. Okay, you're just being a little combative. I'm no. just trying to ask some questions. You're not being very cooperative. Even when the officers know full well that the Fourth and Fifth Amendments to the U.S. Constitution specifically dictate that a person has no legal duty to answer questions or consent to searches, such lack of cooperation, i.e. failure to unquestioningly bow to the officer's every whim and request, 
is still seen by the police as a sign that the person must be some sort of criminal and enemy of the state. From the perspective of the law enforcers, only a despicable lowlife would ever treat a representative of authority in the same manner that he treats everyone else. That's Hunt County Sheriff. He just left. I just asked him about drug trafficking in the area and if he knew anything about it. Did, no. Could you not hear me? Yeah, but... You could? I mean, I didn't think you said anything that would run him off. I mean, he's being very combative and non-cooperative, I'll tell you that. He just drove off. Can you... I was working on an investigation and he just drove off. That was rude. He didn't even ask if he was detained before he left. Should we chase him down? Can you believe that? I mean, that's what normally you would do if you're questioning somebody and they run off, you chase them. Hmm. What do we have here? A suspicious vehicle. Oh, there's nobody even in it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Okay. Can I help you out? Yeah, um, what are you guys up to today? Uh, running traffic and working. Okay, where are you coming from? I think it's going to be You smell it? Where are you guys coming from today? Excuse me? Can I help you out? Yeah, I asked where, where are you guys coming from today? Okay, we can play this game. It's not a, it's not a game. Do you have a reason to detain me? Am I being detained? <laughs> No. I know who y'all are, so it's okay. No. 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 You're not detained. My name's Officer Hole. Nice to meet y'all. Hi. What's your name? I don't have one. Okay, that's cool. What's your name? I'm James. James, nice to meet you, James. Yeah. I'm Officer Hole. Officer Hole, I appreciate that. So, you know, we're not we're not trying to cause you trouble today. Just one second. I think I got a call. Okay. Let me make sure that wasn't me. One second. Sorry. West to Wakani. Yeah, this was the next town over. We actually went to somebody else. I did. Mean. I can smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. You okay? You yeah. So we're just uh, we're just out. We heard there's a lot of drug trafficking going on in the area. We've been getting tips from people. So we're just out checking on people who are. Y'all got any good information or intel? For uh, you know, I can't give it to you at this time. I hope you understand. Um, but I mean, we saw that the stores closed down, so it was kind of yes, suspicious sir. that you're just sitting here. So we just thought we'd stop by, let you know who we are. It's suspicious so, that a police officer sitting in front of a building and has a broken window. In front of what? It's in front of an abandoned building that has a broken window where we've gotten many calls. By police officer, do you mean that a police officer is different than any other human being on the planet? No, so it's, no, it's a job. It's a job title. Okay. Well, we we find it suspicious. Cool. No call? Yes, not, not. Not for you? All right. Yes, cool. Well, we're just out investigating. Um, you guys have anything illegal on you? Sir, here's the deal. I know you think this is a joke, but we actually have had officers in the area both selling narcotics okay. and planting narcotics on people. So it's not actually a joke. I know you okay. think it is. You're... No, I'm not saying that and at so, all. Okay. But here's what I'm saying. I have a rider with me okay. who signed a waiver, mm -hmm. and she's not associated with this at all. No, so, she is. She signed a waiver. Right. She's but, in. She's in a public capacity with you now. Sorry. Yes, sir. It's dangerous to be with people like this. You know that, right? Yeah, and I called out to them, and they're not answering. They're not answering the radio. I asked them if they had a call. There was an officer in Oklahoma that took a woman home. And I got. And I got the, from yeah, the hospital. Sovereign citizens. Sovereign citizens. We obey the law. You don't. 
He just called us sovereign citizens. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. His name is H U L L. Okay, what's the location? Okay, east or west? All right, we'll do yes, sir. All right. Hey, if you've got nothing to hide, can we search the vehicle real quick and then you can be on your way? If uh, we don't find anything illegal, well, no, you, you can be can, on your way. And you can post on YouTube. You can do whatever you want. I well, yeah, we, we I know that. I doing what y'all do. Okay. If y'all do get any information or anything, feel free to let West Walkney know. Okay. Um, do you have any information for us about officers actually selling and planting yeah, drugs? Because no, no, that's, that's a real that's a real thing that's happening that, in the area. That's what I can tell y'all. At nighttime, be careful walking up and down the streets. There's a lot of people out here who do sell narcotics. Right, right. That's we're, what we're working on, we're, so. Just be careful at the, 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 Like I said, I know you think it's a joke, but there are actually law enforcement officers and other uh, individuals in government that are participating in it. And that's, well, whether I'm you not, believe it or not, whether you know no, about it or not. I, I watch the news, trust me, I keep track of it probably as much as you do. So it's just as legitimate for me to walk up and say, hey man, can I check your vehicle? You're saying there's no drugs in there. If I check the vehicle, then we can walk away and we all know. You'll need to talk to the city of West to walk me for that. This is not my vehicle, it's theirs. You do have the right to consent. But you I do have the have okay. Go you can go on your call, but you do have the right to consent. Okay. Would you like to, or do you have something to hide? No, I'm good. Okay, something to hide. Day. Okay, yeah. have a good day. Yeah, y'all too. A person has no legal duty to answer questions or consent to searches. Such lack of cooperation, i.e., failure to unquestioningly bow to the officer's every whim and request, is still seen by the police as a sign that the person must be some sort of criminal and enemy of the state. From the perspective of the law enforcers, only a despicable lowlife would ever treat a representative of authority in the same manner that he treats everyone else. Again, this is not how most people view the world before becoming officers of the law. In their authoritarian enforcement training, they are specifically taught to treat people as inferiors, to always try to gain control of everyone and everything the moment they arrive on scene. Telling everyone where to go. Hey, sir, yeah. You're being detained. You need to stay here. Okay. All right. What to do, when they can speak, and so on. No, we're allowed to communicate no, with one another. Communicating. This is the police call. You need to stay over here. You're being detained. We're allowed to communicate. No. They are not merely told that they have the right to boss everyone around, which would be dangerous enough. They are trained to believe that they must, in every situation, use whatever it takes. Commands, intimidation. You You're out of control. Talk to each other. You're out of control. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're here for a disturbance. You're fixing to go to jail, dude. Or outright violence, to get everyone present to bow to their authority, and are taught that it is a crime for anyone to fail to unquestioningly bow to their will. Then well, I'm trying to find out what's going on. Okay. Well, I didn't call you. I didn't no, ask for you your help. Call you. you it doesn't matter. Another citizen called us out here. There's obviously a disturbance. I didn't ask going for your on. help. Okay. All right. So are you going to tell me what's going on and why this guy's in your face yelling at you? Am I required to? No. Okay. I'm just trying to get your side of the story. I, I don't tell stories to cops. Awesome. Thank you.